So I'm in Milan, learn of that. Honestly, I woke up at 4.30 this morning, had a flight at 6.30 a.m. and I've had barely any sleep last night. Um, I couldn't really sleep on the plane and I tried sleeping on the bus, but I don't know why. I just couldn't really sleep, but um, here I am. I'm currently alone right now. I'm meeting two of my best friends, Amanda and Caitlin. We're in Milan together this trip, but I'm currently alone because I'm flying alone from Bristol. I feel like a big girl, you know? I don't really know where I am. Got to the airport, bought a bus ticket to like the central station. I was at the bus stop. I saw a lot of people in this little place. And I was like, oh my god, this place is kind of vibey. So I haven't eaten anything all day. So I ordered myself a cafe latte. Devoured this in like literally five minutes. I still need to figure out a way to order coffee properly in Italy because I know they have specific names for specific coffee drinks. And I feel like getting an iced latte here is like offensive. So guess what just happened? Let me let me like okay. Oh, story time. Oh. And we just encountered the friendliest guy ever. No, the sugars, the sugars, the sugars. I can't believe that happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Dude, the songs were actually so good though. Would you say that's DMB though? I'll actually, say it's house, no. house, 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 techno. Yeah, yeah, more house actually. Yeah. More house than DMB. It's not DMB, right? Someone broke their slipper. Yeah. Guys, welcome to the Milan vlog. We went out last night and currently like 12.45. Love you two. Let's <laughs> So I just have this top um, cider and then scrape some cider as well. And I think I'm gonna pair it with, with these. I think the plan for today is we're gonna explore like the Duomo and just, you know, the central area, get some street food. The coffee here is so cheap though. You know the coffee here is only like 2 euros max. I haven't had a latte yet. Is it good? And I, I liked it. Acidic. You like it acidic, right? Yeah. Our Airbnb is so pretty. Hey, look at this window. So we're lining up. 
get this famous sandwich. Oh. How many photos have you taken? Video. Yeah, how many Do you want to say hi? No, 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 I don't want to say hi. Okay. Hi, come on. So we got the Milano and we also got the Magda. What's the Milano? Milano. Oh shit, this is so good. Mm -hmm. It's only like 7 euros. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel? We're at we're at the gallery. Mm -hmm. Um feeling really good. Yeah. I'm tired. Just trying to get some pictures on this day. Oh my god, look at Caitlin though. Oh she's saying. She's eating. She, she's so saying. It's currently like four. 47 and we just spent the whole day at the Duomo we took a lot of photos at the gallery and now we're just like waiting outside the museum We wanted to go to the museum but the museum was closed today So I think we're just gonna take the metro to this other Instagram photo spot and then yeah But I don't think we have too many plans tonight We might go out on the roof like tonight but we'll see Because we have Lake Como tomorrow but like we might be a bit tired Yep Dude, it actually blew up. It blew up. Hold the bag also. Hold the bag. Hold the bag. Hold the bag. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Take me people to hold that. Anyway, see ya. Bye. Position queen. Dinner. We're at this really famous pasta place that's apparently really really traditional. We have two branches in Milan and one in Rome. It was called Stereo de Portinata. to get out the toilet because she's been in there for 20 minutes <laughs> Church, I use this booth for my confessions. I don't need your two cents. I'm too busy counting blessings. Granny, pray for me. And <laughs> Elena, thoughts of the night? Super fun, super chaotic. And here we are. How do we get home? No, we're gonna make the Lake Como tomorrow, though. I don't care. No, uh, yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, we are. We made it to Lake Como. Mm. 
what we're having for lunch. <laughs> Honestly, Lake Como trip is a success. We literally eyeballed this whole trip. But we managed to get the last ferry back to Como. This is not glow by the way, this is sweat. <laughs> Currently queuing up for the ferry and there's like a ton of people. Honestly, we took the bus to Bellagio. It was right not it. There. It was not it. It was It trenches. was not it. It was mm. literally sitting on the floor. I was literally sitting on the armrest at one point. It was not it. <sighs> Peace out. A tongue. Ding, ding. Hey, run! <laughs> I knew that. Never in my life. Good morning, it is our last day in Milan. So yesterday was super, super, super chaotic and I didn't get to film that much of me talking. We've had a really, really long day yesterday. And honestly, the whole trip here, we've just been having like so little sleep, waking up and then just going out the whole day and we're all feeling really exhausted. I had so much fun in Milan, probably one of the most fun trips I had so far. So yesterday, we got on the train to Lake Como and then it was such a chaotic day, but basically we got to Lake Como around quite late because we went out the night before and then we just could not wake up the next day had lunch in Lake Como missed the ferry to Bellagio I really wanted to go to Bellagio we ended up taking the bus and oh my goodness the bus was honestly it was such an experience because like it was a one hour bus trip we were all pushing and shoving to get into this bus and it was so hard um, I ended up standing for like the first half an hour it was intense it was intense we got to Bellagio oh my goodness so pretty we saw a couple propose which was really really cute managed to luckily catch the last ferry back we met a new friend yesterday his name is Aziz Three of us were standing in the line queuing up for the ferry and then he was behind. He was wearing like a monochrome pink outfit and then we were just talking amongst ourselves and we were like, oh my god, like his outfit is so slay, like, like we should probably compliment him, whatever, but then I was too shy to do that. We're just in line and then he literally tapped on our shoulder and was like, you guys' outfits are so nice, you know, like three of you guys look so good. We were like, oh my god, like we were thinking the exact same thing. So like the whole way ever since then, we were just like together, like four of us. We sat together on the ferry, we took the train back to Milan and then we had dinner together and then we went to this we went to this free open air party thing that was like in the park or something and honestly it was so 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 fun we went towards the end we got there around like 12 and it ended at 1 but like it was such an experience we met up with like our friends that we met on the first day in Milan so Matteo, Juliet and we 
we wanted to go clubbing after that but like our friends were feeling a bit tired and the girls was not feeling okay and then all the clubs were apparently closed on Tuesday for some reason like I don't know why in the end we just cycled around the city at night and then we made our way home it was such an experience but yeah today I'm feeling okay I'm feeling not too tired it's 9 40 right now which is like the earliest we've all like gotten ready my flight's at 4 p.m. I think we have enough time to just kind of go out get some coffee get some food and like squeeze the last like slice of pizza or like gelato or something before I go back to Bristol because I don't think I'm gonna be eating like Italian food for a while we went back to the same restaurant um, it was Osteria de Funata it was the best best pasta I've ever had in my life it was really authentic they hand roll all their pastas the waiter was so weird like he was so 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 weird there's a difference between being you know friendly and charming as a joke but there's also a point where like it gets a little bit too much and like it makes people around you uncomfortable so that was that that we had such a good time um we ordered tiramisu we got cheesecake we got a bottle of wine so it was a really good last dinner in, in milan i don't know what transition to do though Oh wait, I can do it again. Do it. 